The Houston Texans 19 and the Kansas City Chiefs 12 in a hard-fought physical field goal fiesta in Houston. Ladies and gentlemen, it's tough to consistently go into another team's backyard when you're playing a caliber of team like the Houston Texans. This isn't the Oakland Raiders. This isn't the Cleveland Browns. This is the Houston Texans. They're a good, good team with a couple of stud wide receivers and Will Fuller and DeAndre Hopkins. Uh, but the Chiefs had a chance. They had a chance to make some plays. Opening drive, the Texans flew down the field. Boom, boom, boom. A couple of quick passes, first and goal to three. Later on, it's third and goal to two. When Marcus Peters steps in front of the wide receiver, makes a sensational, sensational interception. Not only did the Texans not get a touchdown, they didn't score. Beautiful play by Marcus Peters. Three plays later, Alex Smith's clicking. Hits Macklin twice. He hits Kelsey once. He's three for three. Looking good. We got the Chiefs got the momentum. They're moving the ball. When what happens? Mitch Morris, Missouri Tiger, snaps the ball. Clear ass over Alex Smith's fucking head. What the hell's up with that, dude? Alex Smith is 6'4". He's not 7'5". That ball was way over his head. J.J. Watt jumped on it. One play later, the Texans are up 7 to nothing. The only touchdown of the game. The only touchdown of the game. When did that happen? When Mitch Moore snapped it over Alex Smith's head. So since that was the only touchdown of the game, the defenses took over, and uh, there was a couple of couple of crucial, crucial, crucial. Another, now when it, since I talked about that turnover, let's talk about the other one. In the third quarter, when the Chiefs were driving, Spencer Ware had a beautiful 10-yard run. Quentin Demps, former Chief, ironically, and uh, Merciless, or middle linebacker, throws, tugs the ball out of the Spencer Ware's hand, fumble. Their DB runs it clear down to the 15-yard line. The Chiefs did hold them to a field goal, but it was that kind of game. It was that kind of game, and it, it was, it's frustrating. What frustrates me is, you know, I'll, I'll admit this, that I had the Chiefs losing this game when the schedule came out because of the fact that it's hard to go into somebody else's backyard consistently, a good team, and win. Uh, but um, the problems I have with this today's game as a Chiefs fan, I want to talk about the where, who the Chiefs have as outside linebacker. They got D Ford and they got Tom Bahali. The problem I have when Tom, Tom Bahali can't play every game or every snap because of the fact that he's coming back from an injury, he's uh, they're working him in gradually. The problem I have is the Chiefs consistently put out Frank Zombo as the outside linebacker. Can't say the Chiefs aren't going to win games with Frank Zombo as your, as your outside linebacker. Frank Zombo is not a winner as an outside linebacker in the National Football League. Frank Zombo is a special teams guy, bar none. That's it. You do not want him out on the field for defensive snaps. All the while, the Chiefs' six-round draft pick, Daddy Nicholas, is dressed, and he's playing some special teams, but he's not in the game. The Chiefs need to get Frank Zombo's freaking worthless outside linebacker ass off the field and get in Daddy Nicholas. Daddy Nicholas, as a rookie, in preseason, had seven tackles, four for a loss, three huge sacks, and six quarterback pressures and hits. Ladies and gentlemen, Daddy Nichols has a great first step. He showed it. He's 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 a dominant. He's a he's a he showed that he can make plays in preseason. You can say, well, that's preseason. Zombo ain't doing shit. Zombo's getting pushed around, and he's not a freaking pass rusher. We need to get Frank Zombo's worthless ass off the fucking field. Now, another bum that I want off the field is Philip Gaines. Oh, my God. The, 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 he can't play either. He had two chances to make a play on third down. Third down, okay, they're going to go your way. You got one-on-one -on -one coverage, make a play. Nope, couldn't do it. The Chiefs need to get Kenneth Acker, a defensive back, to take over for Philip Gaines. Make Kenneth Acker the defensive back opposite of Marcus Peters. Kenneth Acker was traded from the 49ers to the Chiefs for a – Conditional draft pick, the third week of August, he's got to be the guy to play opposite of uh, Marcus Peters. I know you may say, well, gosh, I wish we just would have hung on to Sean Smith. No, nope, he wasn't a reliable option either. He got benched in the third quarter as an Oakland Raider in week one. He got benched. He sucks so bad. So I'm not losing any sleep over letting Sean Smith go. It needs to be Kenneth Acker and Marcus Peters as your corners. Let them play. Philip Gaines, he hasn't blossomed. He only played two games last year before he was his season ended. He 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 was uh, Will Fuller's bitch today, straight up, man. So that was definitely frustrating having watching Philip Gaines and uh, Frank Zombo play. The bums, the bums, they're bums. Zombo might be able to make a good punt tackle when he's running down there to tackle somebody, but you do not want 
Zombo as your freaking outside linebacker at all. When you got somebody as speedy, who's who's got a great first step, and who freaking kicked ass in the preseason, showing that he's got a great first step, you need him to spell Tamba Hali before Tamba comes back. You know, this was a game the Chiefs played well enough to probably they they could have stole this game, but those two players, Zombo and Phillip Games, cost the Chiefs this victory. Now the Chiefs got it got us they got to uh they gotta forget about this one because New York Jets are coming to town next Sunday and the Jets had have ten days to get ready for this game since they played and won pretty good and pressing fashion in Buffalo Thursday night. So the Jets got 10 days to get ready for the Chiefs at Arrowhead. I think, I think the Chiefs should bounce back. I think the Chiefs could win uh, next Sunday's game. They'll be favored, and they, they should bounce back, and they should win. But let's get the playmakers on the field to make the plays. Let's get Daddy Nicholas in there to take Zombo snaps. Let's get Philip Gaines off the field, freaking bar none. I don't, I don't know why people are championing this guy. He sucks, man. He sucks ass. Get Gaines off the fucking field. All right. With that said, I the Chiefs weren't going to go 16 and 0. And as I mentioned at the beginning, I predicted this probably a Chiefs loss due to the fact that you can't keep going into a good team's backyard. You can't keep going to a good team's home and making them, you know, and, and dominating. So uh, let's go ahead and forget about this one. We're one and one. Let's take care of business next week. We've got the Jets coming to town. 3:25 Central Time start here in Kansas City. Until next time, this is Shaggy Shane saying, Go Chiefs!